Hi guys, welcome to another video. We had a very very big bearish engulfing close on the weekly charts. The charts looks quite quite bearish right now, but we do know that we have had some big whales still accumulating Bitcoin even though the market has been coming down. Whether the market is coming down because they have put some million dollar orders right below these zones or whether it's going to be something we're expecting a massive dump coming in the market. We have to watch out for that this week because we've had a great upside. We do need a healthy correction. Overall charts do look all right to me. They do certainly look some kind of bearish price structure, but still it doesn't look as bad as we've seen previously in the history of Bitcoin. So now we get into this week, we can clearly see we had a massive bearish engulfing candle. There we go, we closed it. What are bearish engulfing candles? We're gonna take out the key takeaways. The rest of the information I'm gonna put in the description below. Just click in the link and always learn because learning is very, very important and ignorance is just gonna be useless for you in your life. A bearish engulfing pattern can occur anywhere, but it is more significant if it occurs after a price advance. This could be an uptrend or a pullback to the upside with a larger downtrend. Ideally, both candles are of substantial size relative to the price bars around them. Two very small bars may create an engulfing pattern, but it is far less significant than if both candles are large. The real body, the difference between the open and closed price of the candlestick is what matters. The real body of the down candle must engulf the up candle. The pattern has far less significance in choppy markets. So these are the key takeaways that we always have to remember. And even if you want to see, we had a clear bearish engulfing candle here. Looks amazing. Really, really matches how things are also looking in our chart right now. Very good engulfing candle. Right now, we just started six days to go. This, this, that's the reason I'm saying this week is going to be very, very important for us. It's going to give us a comprehensive idea where we're heading and what's going to be coming next for us. So let's get into more details for the day and see what we can expect more action coming in. Let's start with crypto bubbles. Bubbles look beautiful, bubbles look amazing as usual, as always. But most of them are pretty red right now. We only have Safe Moon that is about up 14%. Zill has come up about 5.9%. Overall, if we look at all of them, look pretty, pretty sideways. And in correction, some are even down 8%, some are down 12%. A lot of coins are struggling right now. Mena is down about 13%. Even if you want to look into our greed and fear index, we are at 32 levels. We are in clear fear. Yesterday we were at 34. That was fear itself. If we look into long and short ratio, we are quite even Stevens right now, especially in one hour, 52 to 47 percent. We're over 24 hours. We have 54 percent people in long positions. And if we look into long and short ratio block trades, 51 percent people in 24 hours are about long positions and if we look into one hour we are quite even Stevens right now 51 percent people are in short positions while 48 percent people are in long positions we get into the market sentiment for popular coins we can see everything looks quite neutral btc's funding rate right now has gone negative and ethereum is all right ethereum is still quite positive overall we look into the sentiments other than k and c Major market popular coins do look like they are on a very good place. While we can also see Luna is in sell when it comes to market sentiments, funding rate is quite negative right now. So overall, most major coins right now look pretty much okay here. And overall, the market sentiment considering BTC and ETH is pretty neutral right now. If we get into our startups for today, startup that is going on right now is Zimfex token. Zimfex token is an ERC20 traded digital asset native to Zimfex ecosystem and it is going to be utility based token. Then we have ESG Finance. ESG Finance platform is a decentralized lending platform enabling users to supply and borrow cryptocurrency. Another amazing project, amazing idea. Another utility based project because it's going to be offering us loans and both of them are going to be starting in about 18 to 15 hours time frame the next one that's going to be coming up is going to be somsing exchange ssx somsing's token ssx is a digital currency used in somsing app and it's going to be an exchange's own token so this is going to be a non-initial airdrop which is going to be starting in about 17 hours to go and all of them look very very good we jump into the coins that we did advise you before the weekend started to get into was polypad polypad is up about 500 percent right now otherwise even the other coins that we have been holding on to alpha zero animal concert drunk bots all of them did perform really really well at the time they had the startup launch 
after that now they have been just pretty sideways and consolidating some correction is needed obviously when you have pumped about 500 to 1000 percent and that would make sense as well because nobody can have a rocket ship in any kind of chart form where you're gonna have a blast off going on so easily and conveniently so overall does look very very good if you do want to get into i would really highly suggest you to get into something exchange is going to be something very important even esg looks very very good and zimfix token also looks very good as it's going to be a utility token so if you want to get into all these coins click in the link given in the description below on join.gate.io with my referral code or referral id it's going to give you rewards airdrops and a lot of more action i'm sure i'm you're gonna like that so now if we get back into our charts we have some important things going on this week in which first of all i want to discuss is dxy dxy hasn't been coming down for past several days now so we're gonna zoom out a bit and get into four hour time frame so if we look into the four hour time frame we clearly expected a breakout coming because we had a massive w pattern here which had a breakout went all the way to 100 percent so it looks very very good we are now having a pullback a retest to 99.421 which is very much needed as well but ideally we would want this dxy to not have this kind of upside and inflation to not increase as aggressively as it has been doing for the past few days now for the past few months and also the war factors covid situations and a lot more factors that had played this role into bringing dxy at an all-time high right now looks quite quite serious right now because we would want this to come down so we can expect a massive bull rally to be coming in but we can expect some different signs as well like i've said before as well that we are in a very different situation from the previous bull, bull runs all-time highs and bull rallies because now we also have war and it is also a testing time for bitcoin right now whether it's gonna make its place out of this war or not now we look into usdt we came, we were expecting usdt to break its trend and probably come into the zones that we really wanted it to come that was about 3.69 break down below that but now we're having a very good upside more upside coming as the bitcoin goes down usdt's dominance keeps increasing which is a sign of worry for us we were afraid that we wanted that 110 percent you know we were 100 percent sure we didn't have a good run here but we needed that 110 percent that final push to get off this place but unfortunately we've had a reversal here and now we're having an upside so that is something to really really watch out especially today and tomorrow for the next 24 hours because we can still go into thirty-seven thousand dollars somewhere in those regions if we would want to see clearly we have that possibility coming in very very soon if we look into btc's dominance pretty sideways still in the region still in a downtrend eth did go to all the way to 20 percent but has this been consolidating in these zones right now overall if we look into major coins like solana's dominance ala's dominance xrp luna's dominance avax dominance ax's dominance others dominance has been pretty sideways not much action going on there so if you look into ETH, it still looks a lot better compared to some other coins still holding up really, really well now it's coming back in the zone that we expected an upside from all the way at 21st march had a beautiful upside had a beautiful rally and now it's kind of coming down though the other reason for it to be coming down or it to be having a very good time compared to other coins is because the hash rate right now is increasing and rising very very fast has a lot of bullish movement and bullish news coming in especially when it comes to ETH so we can expect some kind of good moves to be coming from ETH as well but obviously when the volume is going to be fading away from all the coins it has to also fade away from beat, uh, from ETH we can't expect ETH to be acting any different from any other coins if we can clearly see that the volume has been disappearing from here we've had some massive selling going on as well from traders that's all right that's pretty pretty normal so we can't say pretty much anything about that right now just have to monitor it and be pretty pretty careful where the market is going to be taking us next now we look into the news section we can clearly see the china stock extend losses shanghai composite last down 2.6 percent some money has been sucked out from the chinese and asian markets early morning next news we have is from COVID shanghai residents question human cost of china zero COVID policy as lockdown next third week quite strict a lot of things going on there as well then we have elections going on france where a pretty tough, tough competition is going about then we have japan's yen slides to lowest against dollars since august 2015 a lot of signs of concern for us there because a lot of asian countries are now getting their inflation hit that we had discussed before Terra Luna's foundation scoops up about 4,130 Bitcoin worth 176 million dollars and they are just scooping up as much as they can. We did expect them to do that and they are clearly actually doing that which is an amazing sign for them overall. So last for today, not the least, 
we have clearly seen that everybody's gone very, very bearish. So I wanted to draw some charts to clarify some things for everybody to make them feel a lot more relaxed and better in a situation like this because we don't want to have people to be roaming around in FUD and thinking, oh my God, the market is going to be dumping. So we don't want to have that kind of situation. We want to use our technical skills and see what other positions we are in. Especially in ETH, we can see we had a lower low where we started having an upside rally. Then we had a higher high. Then we had a higher low because we're still in a very strong trend. And now we've had another higher high. So we can expect the market to be coming in some zones here. Probably there's a high chance we can have around 2,500, 2,600, 2,700. Because the line is also getting higher and higher. Until or unless we break these lines and we go below them, we still have to remain bullish because we're still in a very, very bullish price structure. Yes, the market has been pretty sideways, pretty consolidative. It's not like a rocket that's just going up one side and making everybody a lot of billion dollars, but still pretty much in action. The price structure is still very, very bullish until or unless we break this line and go below this trend which is going to be around $2,400, especially for E. So that's all for today's video, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you do, smash the like button, share your thoughts in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's what keeps you motivated. Take care, guys. I'm going to be seeing you guys tomorrow.